Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, bird video. We're going to have a look at the weather. For 10 14 days for today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 17th of March and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the excellent GFS. It's um, ensembles, maybe I'll try in a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video uh, for April and I should get on that for you in a moment. Just saying that first, a bit of sales, I sit same UK weather forecast and with release Jeremy Friday as well. Check out those two bids if you'd like to do that. Like Share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thanks so much everyone uh, for doing that. Going to be live at 7 pm for channel members. So if you're a channel member uh, for Gals Weather Vids and you're around the channel at 7 pm, check into your March channel member live stream and uh, I shall see you uh, a little bit later on for that one. Okay, well, we're going to start off uh, this video with the uh, latest one from that, from Earth No School. Now, I don't think we'll have a look at Strat today. We're we'll looking at that every uh, day this week. I think we'll leave that off today and have a good look at it uh, tomorrow. But basically, everything still on course of Strat warming is ongoing. So, uh, we're going to start off, as I say, with the latest one from that, from Earth No School. Net. Got plenty of low pressure in the Atlantic uh, and to our north as well. We are drawing up like a southerly flow at the moment. That's a mild wind direction and it's quite warm. Uh, by uh, the beginning of next week, though, that's going to shift around to an east or even a northeasterly. And it will start to uh, become colder. Setting temperature is currently sitting at 6.1, that is not, uh, 0.4 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average in provisional to uh, yesterday to the 6th of March. So we're now slightly above average uh, for uh, March and uh, that's going to carry on rising. <coughs> So, so, everyone, I've got a real cough back again uh, today. Not feeling uh, all that well, I have to say, uh, again today. Um, but anyway, we'll persevere. Don't want to hear about that. Um, though, uh, no, uh, I'm going to carry on ticking up uh, through the weekend, and then next week it will start uh, to drop, probably by this time next week. That will be back down in the thighs somewhere, I would have thought. <coughs> So sorry again, everyone. Uh, these were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at Wrexham today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Wrexham. We're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. Uh, and carry on into weekend as well. But next week turning uh, colder. Quite a significant uh, colder period opening up there through uh, the uh, through next week, really. So, um, any time from about the 10th of March through to about the 17th or the 18th of March, uh, we see cold and average conditions re returning back close to average again, right at the very end into the third week of March. Of course, that's a long way out. It's extended range and therefore is unreliable. Precipitation uh, anomalies relatively dry through the weekend to start of next week, but gradually turning a little bit more unsettled through the second week of the month. But it's really into the second half of the month that we do see uh, much more in the way of uh, unsettled conditions then through the third week of March. <coughs> So sorry again, everyone. Uh, temperature anomalies for the next five days are above average. But if we have a look at the six to ten day temperature anomaly, then we uh, look significantly uh, below average, colder than average um, uh, period coming up in the six to ten day time frame. Uh, and that covers most of uh, northern and western Europe as well, by the way, or northwestern uh, Europe anyway. But 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly returning back closer to average. Cold next week. Precipitation and knowledge the next seven days are largely on the drive and average side and in the four to ten day time frame. Well, drive and average to the north and the west, but near and normal further south and east. And then the 10 to 16 day precipitation anomaly, largely uh, close to average for most of us, but a bit drier out to the west. Right, let's start going with chart data then. Some latest UK met Euro run. He's looking for midnight on Monday, blocking area of high pressure around Iceland, Greenland, and uh, winds coming in from a northeasterly or an easterly uh, direction. Uh, going to be cold through uh, next week with this blocking area of high pressure and uh, low pressure down to the south as say winds are coming in from the uh, east there. There might be a bit of wintry potential. We'll probably go through that, I would have thought, maybe on Sunday and uh, have a look at uh, the uh, chance of some wintry conditions through next week. Might have a look at, in, look at it in tomorrow's 10 to 14 day. We'll see. Uh, Icon. <coughs> 
try to try again. Uh, Icon again with uh, blocking air fire pressure around ice and green low pressure down to Spain and Portugal on Monday. Winds are coming in from a north or a northeasterly direction through most of next week. So looking cold, night frost, probably won't feel too bad in the March sunshine by day. But it's certainly uh, a cold week coming up next week as we saw with the temperature anomaly um, in the 5 to 10 day time frame. You know, it's going to be uh, below average. And um, this is how uh, we look in terms of KMA. Again, blocking you know, high pressure on ice and green, low pressure down to Spain. Winds again coming in from that east to uh, northeast direction. Uh, we keep it cold through uh, most of next week or all of next week with winds in from the east. Low pressure moving up from the south. Could there be a bit of snow mixed in with that? Possibly. Uh, and then uh, we find the wind, um, well, trying to go back into a mild southwesterly, but we finish up looking like that high pressure, you know, Scandinavia. Wind still coming in from quite a chilly southeasterly direction there up to the 19th of March. The uh, GFX midnight run again, blocking out high pressure on Iceland and Greenland. Wind's coming in from uh, the east and from the northeast through uh, most of next week. <coughs> So it's looking cold uh, through uh, next week. There will be significant overnight frost and daytime temperature will be quite chilly as well. Um, up to day 10, which is 17th of March, day 10, uh, we find uh, low pressure and starting to come in from off the Atlantic. So trying to get a bit milder there through the uh, third week of the month and turning rather wet and windy as well as the blocking area of high pressure retreats back into uh, western Russia. That's how we end up GFS midnight run. 23rd of March, back into an Atlantic flow, so looking unsettled, rather wet, but uh, also uh, relatively mild. And remember GFS 6 there, with, uh, with uh, that blocking high again around ice of the Greenland on Monday. Colder air started to move in from uh, the northeast in the early part of next week. A little area of low pressure sitting in the North Sea around the middle of next week could bring some uh, wintry showers to uh, southern and eastern uh, regions. Keeping the wind in from the east and from the northeast in most of uh, next week. And then heading towards day 10, we find a ridge building uh, through the uh, western portion of Europe. So in that ridge, it's going to be uh, quite cold by night, but probably won't feel too bad in the March sunshine by day. And then extended again, turning uh, wet and windy as low pressure starts coming in from off the Atlantic. We're blocking high, retreating away to the northeast. So the third week of March, looking uh, really wet and windy here with uh, low pressure bringing perhaps some gale force winds and some heavy rain as well. All change again in the third week. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about that as well as get them to subscribe to show everyone for uh, doing that. Around 28, 27, 28 subscribers gets us to 19.6k. So it could give us a sub. That'd be absolutely awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. Uh, GM again with that blocking area of high pressure around Iceland on Monday. Colder winds coming in, or colder air coming in with northeasterly wind uh, through the middle part of uh, next week. That carries on into the second half of next week. So uh, next week is looking cold up to um, the weekend of the 15th or 16th of March. Uh, the ridge begins to slip down over the country, so it's still cold by night with that, I would have thought, but probably not too bad in the March sunshine by day. And then by day 10, which is the 17th of March, just a hint of some wet and windier weather started to be back in from the Atlantic. And then the ECM rounds it all up once more, about blocking air of high pressure around Iceland and Greenland uh, through the only part of next week. Colder air moving in from the north and from the east. Staying cold through most of next week. Low pressure south blocking highs, uh, or blocking high to the north. And that cold weather continues into uh, the weekend of 15th, 16th of March as well. Heading to day 10. Well, still maintaining that high pressure over and slightly to the north of the country. Still maintaining the easterly wind. Probably becomes a little bit uh, less cold by day, uh, but will be chilly by night. And extended with the uh, ECM, we find, again, symptoms of GFS, high pressure. The block begins to retreat away into Eastern Europe as low pressure starts coming in from off the Atlantic. So uh, we end up uh, by the 22nd of March looking uh, rather unsettled with low pressure in from the Atlantic turning uh, milder but also wetter through the third week of March. Based on precipitation broadcast based on the HM run from Tibetshow.com. 
So, up to day 10, by the way, not extended. Um, so, live flight weather to come, really, over the uh, next few days. Next week, we bring uh, a weather front to southwards across the country. That'll have some heavy showers associated with it. And when that gets out of the way, then we open the door to those cold winds. So, wintry showers into the north. <coughs> so, sorry, again, everyone, wintry showers into the north and the east through next week. Then low pressure moves up from the south, brings some rain, possibly a bit of snow into the south as well. And uh, there's uh, quite a significant snowfall there through Wales and the Midlands. That's the 14th of uh, March. Quite interesting. That's next Friday, you think, isn't it? Uh, beyond that, we turn drier against high pressure starts sinking southwards. There might be a bit of snow around next week, and uh, I reckon we'll have a look at that in detail. Either in tomorrow's 10 to 14 day, or maybe even on Sunday's live stream. Maybe both. We'll see. Watch your space. Uh, right, these are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today. For day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 17th of March. 18 members of the ECM Ensemble with high pressure in the North Atlantic, Brown, Green, Iceland, low pressure in Scandinavia, and winds are coming in from a cold north or northeasterly direction with that 13 again with high pressure around Iceland, winds coming in from a cold easterly direction. 11 with high pressure, perhaps a bit further south but still chilly uh, with that winds in from the east and nine with high pressure between Iceland and Norway and that keeps the wind in from an easy direction. All options looking pretty chilly I have to say, even quite cold maybe um, in uh, the 10 day time frame. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 22nd of March. 20 members of the ECM ensembles keeping the Scandinavian high going. Winds remaining from an easy direction. Might go a little bit more southeasterly, though, uh, with that. So probably a bit milder. Uh, 15, again, with high pressure somewhere around Iceland to Norway. Winds coming in. Presumably from uh, quite a chilly easterly direction. Nine with high pressure out to the west. And around that, we will bring the wind in from the north or from the northeast. And then seven, similar to the GFS, much more unsettled uh, with uh, low pressure being wet and windy. But also relatively mild conditions in from off the Atlantic. So most of the options looking blocked and quite cold at day 10 and then uh, by day 14. Well, again, most of the options certainly look high pressure dominating, um, but perhaps a little bit uh, less cold. Uh, finally, have a look at CFS for April. This is the latest 700 millibar height, height anomaly. Remember, these uh, charts change daily. Today's idea has a mid-Atlantic uh, ridge um, and lots of high pressure, actually, across the entire uh, Northern Hemisphere, uh, really. So, quite a strange anomaly. Lower pressure towards Iceland, so probably, in the end, like a westerly-type uh, flow with that. Uh, going for a slightly milder than average uh, April with that bizarre 700 millibar height anomaly and uh, not much of a signal for precipitation. Oh, uh, we shall see. And uh, we'll have a look at that again, uh, probably on Sunday's live stream. Or Sunday's 10 to 14 day. I think we'll live stream uh, the 10 to 14 day on Sunday, actually. So we'll probably look at that again on uh, Sunday's live. Anyway, uh, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. <coughs> Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz World, Gaz World Vids. Get them to subscribe to you and show to everyone for dear back. So, with life for channel members at 7pm, uh, I shall have to uh, dose myself up with a, with a label symbol or something uh, for that. And uh, I shall see you, your channel member, at 7. And just tell what's happening on the channel over the weekend. So, tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. It's um, at WF42 day. Uh, uh, probably weekend broadcast at 10 to 14 day as well. And then on uh, Sunday, uh, we've got the first update for summer 2025 coming up after 6 a.m. broadcast. So quite an exciting weekend. We begin uh, summer updates on Sunday. And uh, then we will be live with our 10 to 14 day on Sunday evening. And we'll probably, probably include a little bit long range in that as well. Right, well, you enjoy the rest of your Friday. And again, if you're a channel member, don't forget to check into your channel member live stream at 7pm. I shall see you for that one. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.